Okay, Houston coach Kelvin Sampson is here. Coach, when you're comfortable, if you could start us off with some general comments about the game. Um, well, first of all, congratulations to uh, TJ. His team, um, they, they, were, they were unbelievable today. They played hard, um, they played connected, they played, um, shot the ball extremely well. I don't know where they're from the three, especially um, uh, um, Um He had some, you know, when we were uh, defending him tough, he still made it. That's what good players do. So hats off to um, um, Iowa State. I think for all the teams now, it's just a matter of seeing if you can get uh, as healthy as you can and get ready for the um, uh, tournament next week. Tomorrow's select selection Sunday. We'll pick ourselves up. We've had a great year. Um, obviously, 40 minutes is not going to define three months. But um, we'll get some guys um, treatment and healthy and get back at it and, and see where they send us tomorrow and be excited about it. Okay, remember, if you've got a question, raise your hand. We'll get a wireless mic to you. Let's go over here on the left. Kelvin, uh, Blair Kirkhoff with the Kansas City Star. Hey, Blair. Hey, how do you anticipate your guys reacting to this? Um, this is similar to what happened to us at Kansas earlier uh, in the year. Uh, everybody's sign up for this uh, job coaching and playing basketball. You're going you're gonna to have – you're going to have moments like this. Uh, I mean, that atmosphere out there was unbelievable. I think that was uh, – I don't remember Hilton being as tough to play as Kansas City. Now, very, very seldom do you play a, a game – a home game, or a road game, rather, uh, in the uh, championship of a tournament. But you know what? Hats off to Iowa State's fans. I, th I think this was a great – learning experience for Cincinnati and UCF and Houston and uh, BYU to, to see. I, I've known how great Iowa State, State's fans are for a long, long time. That's not the first time I've lost to them in the championship game. Um, but you know what? Don't lose sight of how good you got to be to get here. There's 14 teams. There's only two teams left. <clears throat> I'm sure people will take their shots at us, and that's okay. Go ahead. There's a lot of teams would have uh, loved to have been in our spot today playing them, but they're really good. Even when we beat them at our place, I thought they were really good. Um, you know, they, stump, they stubbed their toe a couple times, but that's going to happen in this league. So um, our kids will respond, though, uh, Blair. They've got the right DNA. Um, we've got really good leadership. And we've got great kids. You know, we've, uh, we've battled all year long. Um, you know, I, I think the uh, there's there's so much good fortune that goes with teams that can stay healthy, you know, and we're struggling with that right now, so we're going to have to figure some things out. Let's go here on the front row on the left. Will Kunkel, Fox Houston. Just how did you balance the desire to win and get healthy with Jawan just 13 minutes, and I think Jamal rested about seven and a half down the stretch. Yeah. Um, you know, having won these a few times, um, you know, next week is the week. Um, and Iowa State would tell you the same thing. Next week's more important to them than this. But, you know, when you're, you've got a chance to play in front of your 15,000 of your fans, you, you're going to go all out. You know, uh, for us, we would like to have played better today. But they had a lot to do with that. They, they made us poor, play poorly. Uh, we didn't shoot it well. I thought we got a bunch of really good looks, especially Cryer and Shed. Uh, they were the two shooting most of the balls. <clears throat> but, um, you know, it just wasn't their day. You know, third game in three days, legs, all that kind of stuff. And that's, to, that's the advantage of having your fans. They lift you, you know, when, when things aren't going well. Um, but uh, really, really proud of my team this year. Uh, we've had an unbelievable year, 30 and 4. Went in the Big 12, all that stuff is the stuff that we'll hang our ha hats on. But, um, um, you know, the injury thing, there's not a lot you can do with it. I got up this morning convinced that we were not going to play um, 
Um, J. Juan and um, John Houston said, well, there's no reason why he can't play. It's not anything structural. It's just a bruise. It's like he got hit <clears throat> in, with the medication he was taking. He felt a lot better. He went through a shoot around. He wasn't limping. But uh, as, as it wore on, you know, this game's not near as important as his health. Um, it wasn't Maul's night tonight. Um, so we'll lick our wounds and get back on the uh, horse and get going again. But I can't tell you how impressed I was with Iowa State. You know, don't, don't think for a minute I'm poor-mouthing us and taking anything away from them. They were great. They're, they're a team that can, uh, they can go a long way. They, 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 can get to, um, they can get to the Final Four. They're that good. Let's go over to the right. Coach, uh, Sam Lance with Adam Zagori and Zags blog. I'm, I'm writing a little story on Jamal Shedd this week, and he told me whenever you recruited him, you told him that you had two point guards and he was supposed to be the third. What was it about Jamal Shedd whenever you recruited him that you knew he was kind of destined to be that? Uh, talent and leadership. <clears throat> you know, he had, he's a very talented young man. He comes from a great family. And he, um, you could tell he, he was used to leading. It was very natural uh, for him. Um, there was a young man I had a few years ago. <clears throat> uh, he's playing for the Rockets now, Nate Hinton. When I recruited him, I said, that kid's going to be our captain one day. He'll be a good captain. And I remember saying that about um, um, Shed. I bet you he'll be a good captain one day because he, he has those uh, traits. What, wherever he goes and whatever he does in uh, life, he'll be successful because he's extremely intelligent. Um, he's got great leadership skills, and he comes from really good stock. Okay, let's go over here on the right, and then we've got another one on the left. Coach Greg Eklund, AP Broadcast. Regardless of how this game would come out, you had mentioned 30-4 and four regular season champion. Do you feel that this team has already earned what it, the top among the top teams in the country get? As well, well, I think anybody that wins this league is going to get what it is going to earn whatever it gets, whether it was us or somebody else. Uh, Iowa State could have easily won this league. You know, we were, we got very fortunate and won some games. I remember two or three games that went in overtime that, you know, we just kind of gutted it out and found a way to win. <clears throat> but we did. So we get credit for that. Um, but going uh, – the record we had this year in this league was, um, you know, probably not supposed to happen. You know, and if you're surprised, and so were we. You know, we were – we were sitting here thinking we were going to go 15-3 and three in this league. But uh, it shows you what uh, kind of group of kids we have. But we don't have the same team today we had a month ago. You know, that's, we don't have that same team. So we'll, we'll um, get some rest and see if we can't get some bodies healed up. There's probably some feelings got hurt today. But, you know, today was a battle. You know, and we lost it. We didn't lose, the war is coming up. You're going to lose battles. You know, <clears throat> everybody in this league loses battles. But uh, we're all refreshed, and we get, get to reset uh, come uh, Thursday or Friday, depending on the, uh, <clears throat> on the um, site that they send us to. But just really proud of this team. You know, um, I think I feel better for Iowa State than I do for us. They play great today. Their fans, that, that was an Iowa State moment. That thing was set up for them. You know, uh, in Kansas City, uh, what, what is this place seat? I don't even know. Anybody know that? What is it? Okay, so that means what? Is there 17,000 Iowa State fans today? That doesn't happen everywhere. You know, uh, where was the Big Ten tournament? Where? Um, I guarantee you there wasn't a team there that had 17,000 of their fans supporting a team. Uh, where was the ACC tournament? Usually Greensboro, it's probably D.C. Uh, why was it in D.C.? What's that to do with that? <laughs> who's, close, who's closest to there, Boston College? <laughs> huh? I'd say Rutgers, but they're in the Big Ten, right? <laughs> so, but this is unique. Uh, I think it says a lot about the Big 12, but more importantly, it says a lot about Iowa State's fan base. You know, th their kids were unbelievably jacked. 
You know, I, yesterday felt like a fair fight with Texas Tech. Felt like a fair fight with TCU. The other games all felt like fair fights. Today didn't, didn't seem very fair. But again, that's all kudos to Iowa State's fans. That's, they're always going to have a, um, did I see somewhere where they were 5-0 and in championship games? Well, correct that, will you? 6-0. and There's a good chance it's going to be 7-0. Pretty good. <laughs> Let's go over here on the left. Uh, Chancellor Johnson, KPRC2. Um, I know you mentioned, uh, obviously, that you're dealing with the injuries, but how proud are you, are you of this team and what they've been able to do uh, pretty much over this, not just this last month, but over the course of the season up to this point? <clears throat> yeah, I, I was telling someone, um, and I hate being repetitive, but I've said this a couple of times that, you know, we lost four really important starters off last year's team, uh, Jairus Walker, Marcus Sasser, Tremont Mark, and uh, Reggie Chaney. Um, so we spent all summer trying to figure out who's going to fit what role. You know, we were very fortunate to get LJ to transfer from uh, Baylor and Damian transfer from Temple, but we decided to go with our young guys. You know, Jojo Tugler, who I think is um, – Monsilovich is, is in uh, um, Jacoby Waters are two of the best freshmen, I think, in the country. But Jojo Tugler's right there with him. He's good. Um, losing him to a broken foot, obviously, is a blow. Um, uh, Jay Wan with his injury is, is a blow. But even with all that, that, look what we accomplished. You're right, winning the Big 12. Uh, nothing takes that away. I'm, I'm going to be really, when I think of this team, uh, years from now, <clears throat> when I'm sitting at uh, my lake house, having one of my favorite beverages and just sitting there whiling the time away and you guys are here asking some poor schlep about a game he lost by 30, uh, I'll be thinking about you. Hope you're thinking about me too. Uh, but I'll be thinking about this team. I won't think about this 40 minutes, but I will think about this year and the um, uh, things that they accomplished. and. So just really proud of them. It's hard to lose what we lost last year and have the kind of year we had uh, this year. And, and um, ever how long it lasts, um, you know, uh, you just never know. You know, I've, I've seen, I didn't think I, you know, 20 years ago, I would have never thought that a 16 could be the one. Now it's more likely than not uh, to happen again. So you just never know. You, you've got to hope for some good fortune and, Prepare your kids the best you can and hope you play good that night. And we'll do that uh, our next game. Hey, we've the got best of our ability. We've got time for two more questions. First one will be on the front row, and then we're going to go over here to the right. Calvin, I think you just kind of addressed this a little bit. But just, just the setting tonight, I mean, you, these yeah. teams, any team may not see this until the Final Four, if then. Never. I can't imagine. This reminds me of um, maybe when the ACC tournament was in Greensboro in North Carolina. Um, um, I, don't, I don't know what Greensboro sees, probably about the same, maybe 17, 18,000. Being in North Carolina at Greensboro is very difficult. That's why Coach Smith and Coach Williams and, and uh, Hubert and those guys win so many of those ACC tournaments. Um, uh, I was in the Pac-10 uh, LA. Nobody came to the games, no matter who, who was in it. Um, Big Ten's not like that. This is, I think this is the best conference tournament. Now, as a, a coach, you say, well, you'd like to have it here, I'd like to have it there. But um, for our brand, for the Big 12, um, when people watch this game on TV, they, they saw one team that probably felt sorry for, but they saw an arena that was, was uh, lit. And it and it you saw the Big 12 brand, and it, and that speaks to the job that uh, uh, Brett's doing, um, but also Iowa State and TJ and his staff and his kids and and that fan base, uh, just it just um, it gives the Big 12 a good look, you know. And and if I did my part today to try to make the Big 12 look good, <laughs> and Iowa State, but um, they're they're really good. Uh, we could have played well and had everybody healthy and probably couldn't have beat them today. Okay, last question's here on the right. Kelvin, what did you think that they did um, well against your, your ball screen coverage and, and just kind of their plan going into that? 
Well, when we got the ball in the paint and it went out, I thought we got some good looks. LJ especially. Um, I, didn't, I didn't think Jamal's looks were that good because they're on the first side. He can't play offensively against us. That's why we're good against a lot of teams. You have to play to the third side against good defensive teams. And for whatever reason, we just didn't have the patience to do that today. Your coverage. Yeah. Um, I thought, you know, it was fine. Um, it was a one point, two point game there for a while. And then we went to our bench. And went to our bench, we struggled. And that's, um, that's something we're just going to have to figure out who's going to be in the game with what players. You know, we can't have three bench guys in at the same time right now. I mean, we're, you know, that's, that's not good for us right now. Um, so, you know, um, I don't know if we'll play Thursday or Friday. I'm hoping Friday. We, we really need to spend a lot of time, you know, playing three games in three days. It's probably not ideal for us because of our depth. But uh, going back uh, gives us something to really focus in on that maybe we have to start substituting earlier. You know, get this guy in with, that gr with the first group mo uh, more. And then be really con conscious of who's on the floor at what time with what, with what groups. Because when we had uh, the three bench guys, and that's when it got away from us a little bit uh, toward the end. First half was fine. I mean, it's 30-23. Uh, LJ and uh, Maul, Emmanuel, I mean, those guys aren't making shots. You know, we're, we're going to struggle anyway. Okay, Coach, thank you very much. Okay, guys.